right, so Aaron thinks uh, I should do the part two with uh, um, the foot troops. So we are going to be using a similar paint scheme. Basically, <clears throat> we're just going to move the colors around a little bit, and you'll see how we're going to do these guys. The main thing I'm going to do differently with these are I'm going to do the skin the same way I did the sharks and the eel. So I'm going to use that apothecary white. Um, and uh, I'll take I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, paint these guys up and then I'll be right back so you can check it out so we're just gonna do this apothecary uh, these guys don't have like if they kind of look like they got a lot of skin the other thralls have more um, I'm not really worried about uh, how much I get on these guys as long as it keeps clean because uh, these guys have lots of detail on their skin and the contrast is just going to pick up exactly what you're setting down. Uh, for lack of a better word, it'll look really nice. Uh, there's lots of musculature that the uh, contrast paint is going to be able to both highlight and settle in. And there we go. We're just going to go ahead and apply this to all the models. I'm actually doing a set of thralls. Uh, at the same time as I'm doing these reavers so you'll see those as well in this video uh, not yet because they're slightly ahead of where I'm at with this model here and this uh, these guys I started painting them and then Aaron's like well I want to see them so um, you're gonna get to see them uh, and we're gonna be putting them on camera so you can see the the whole paint scheme uh, we've got our first coat down which is the uh, apothecary white see if you can see um it just goes right into those details so nice uh we're gonna go next with the skeleton horde i'm gonna do the legs probably some of the straps uh and the the back area here uh all with the skeleton horde and we'll be back when that step is done this one's a pretty tedious step uh you got to be really careful with not hitting the other parts of the paint that's already done i've been going light to dark with these guys i'm finding that's a lot easier to do so the lighter color goes on first and then we move up from there so that's what we're going to do next skeleton horde we've got the skeleton horde on as you can see i've done all the legs even where i'm going to put the armor and then i fully coated the uh the backpack and then i did the um bow and arrow and a little strap on his chest now i don't know that um i needed to do all this but the reason i did is because i want good coverage so when i'm putting on the next color if i miss a little spot it's just going to look like it was part of the the plan if i a little bit's there it won't be like white it won't show up really easy now i'm going to go with gold to do all this little detailing and i'm probably going to do different browns in here but i want this to be uh, what I'm working off of. It's kind of get like idiot proofing uh, the rest of it. So if I miss a small little area, it'll already be shaded a bit. So a little bit of a cheat. I got a little bit on to the white areas that I'm gonna paint with red. I'm not really worried about that because that red contrast is so dark. It's just gonna cover that right up. So I uh, gotta finish this with the rest of the models and then we'll be back. Back again. Next color is gonna be the Blood Angels Red. I'm gonna be putting it on the cloak on their little van braces on their arms. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these, but I know the cloak and the, or the skirt and the van braces on the arms. And uh, we'll be back when that's all done. Got the bread on, uh, just had to be careful. Um, did the hand, I uh, got a little bit on the bow and the arrow, it looks like I'll have to clean up. But yeah, there we go, The I'm gonna go through, I'm doing batch painting, I don't know if I mentioned. It's important to let these guys dry in between coats because otherwise you'll start bleeding the colors through so i'm doing batch painting painting a little bit uh one model at a time going through going through and doing one color so that by the time i'm to the net to the end of that line the first model's dry and i'll just keep going after that both the thralls and the reavers at the same point now um the next step is the gold and there's a lot of gold so this next step's gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna start working on that and we'll be back. You can see they look pretty good so far. They're gonna look amazing with that gold. Did the armor on the feet and the waist, the little collars. Oh, I see, I gotta finish this guy. I'll be right back with that. A Little bit on the weapon, just make some bling. Uh, next step is gonna actually be Reichland flesh shade all over the gold. 
And we'll be back when I finish that. Put the, rec the, the flush shade on. Did our flesh wash on the gold. It really brings that gold to life. Uh, the next step that we'll be doing is doing all the silver on uh, these guys. So the weapons, the little back things, any like little gems. I see a couple of them on here. Probably that back gem there, the tips of the arrows, things like that. We're going to do silver. We're going to use uh, the Vallejo, Vallejo silver. With uh, these guys, I've done the silver, so I hit this little thing on the back. Over here, this little sigil. Uh, got a little gem on the chest, I mean on the belly, and then on the bottom here, and then this upper collar here. That's it. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to wash this with dark uh, dark tone uh, army painter wash. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back in and hit this little bracelet too. We've got these guys with the silver washed. They're looking pretty good so far. We got one last step. That's taking this Magos purple. Now we use this for the mouths and kind of scars for the sharks. We are going to go ahead do something similar. We're, we're gonna go ahead and they have lots of uh, little cracks and stuff in their skin, little scars. We're just gonna take a little Magos purple, pop it in there, and we're gonna actually define a little bit of the skin that way as well, like under the pecs and maybe some under the biceps. You don't need very much of this to do that, so. Taking a lot of the Magos purple off the brush, this should just be a hint. And then we're gonna go ahead into the non-existent eyes and you can just use your finger to clean it out a little bit if you get too much where you don't want it and then the little symbol on their head and that's kind of what it's going to look like right there so I'm just going to do this on all of them and they just basically need to be based after that and that'll take care of all their skin issues uh, you just want to kind of put this in the shadows. It's just giving a little bit more uh, detail to the skin since uh, they do have a lot of detail on them. Um, you do you want to hit that, I think. So we're just doing a little bit of purple in those little areas. Like I said, just a hint of the purple. You don't want to go nutty with it. You could probably do this with a wash, but you know what? I wanted to use some uh, the contrast paints, so we're using more contrast paints. So, there you go. And there's what they look like complete. Good to go. Uh, this guy is almost fully complete. I'm gonna do a little tutorial on the basing. This was a resin base, but I'm gonna actually build bases for um, a lot of the other guys, but he's completely done. I, I hope you like this tour tu tutorial. Um, I had fun painting these guys actually. The con contrast paints actually made it pretty fun to do. I could have done a little more deal detailing on him, but I feel like he's good enough. Good enough for me. Good enough to play. Looks nice. Alright. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the table.